back with another video we got secrets of synchronicity what you seek is seeking you by Carl Jung it's on both screens without further ado let's get straight into the video synchronicity is coming together the inner outer events in the have you ever had a moment when it feels like everything in the universe is aligning just for you a moment so perfectly coincidental that it leaves you feeling electrified and in awe. Imagine finding yourself at the center of time, caught in a web of synchronicity so intricate that it feels like it was designed with purpose by some unknown force. It's undeniably strange yet so captivating. Have you ever experienced synchronicity so great that dismissing it as mere coincidence becomes impossible? Imagine this. You're driving down a quiet road lost in your thoughts when suddenly a song comes on the radio that you haven't heard in years the lyrics resonate with you triggering a flood of memories and emotions it feels like the universe is speaking to you through the notes and words weaving a mysterious connection between the external world and the inner recesses of your mind this phenomenon often brushed aside as mere coincidence is what Swiss psychologist Carl Jung referred to as synchronicity. It's the subtle dance between the events of the external world and our inner experiences, a cosmic choreography that unfolds in seemingly random but deeply meaningful ways. Unlike the traditional notion of cause and effect relationships, synchronicity suggests that events are meaningfully linked through some principle beyond causality. Jung's theory of synchronicity is an essential component of analytical psychology, of which he is a pioneer. Stick around because in this video, we will delve into the technicalities of Jung's theory of synchronicity and its implications on our understanding of the universe. We will also examine some famous examples of synchronicity and their impact on individuals' lives. Have any you of have any of you out there been under this mysterious circumstances of what he just said? I like being in a car and then you hear a song, and that song is attached to memories, a vibration and a frequency. So I like it encapsulate you and take you back to this to the to a time. Me personally, this is how I would explain it. Like it can be a song. I'm you know when you're from down away. It's downtowns everywhere, but from down away. And then growing up, and... It's like, let me just name something. I don't know what song in particular, but someone can play a... A Keisha Cole song or whatever. That my mom used to play. And then when I hear it... I get engulfed by it and it takes me back to that time of downtown days of what things were simple. It wasn't perfect, it was far from perfect, but shit, it was mine. But yeah, you ever hear a song and it take you back to a specific point in time? Like I don't undermine it. It's a point in time where I did. I was ignorant, but completely weeding out everyone that can come before me or even after me or currently i've learned that synchronicity is is real whether you believe it or not i learned it through trial and error tribulations and then just reflecting back on what happened just being introspective and seeing like and then you notice the patterns and things and it's like the universe give you signs, whether it's a song, whether it's imagery, or the typical being numbers, binary, and like words, because the smaller, smaller building blocks of words is letters, and every letter is attached to a number. Like A is one, B is two, C is three in numerology. And it's like all, this, all these things coincide with each other, all this esoteric knowledge. And it makes sense why one of the most important books is a sum book, and it's star worship and the morning star that shows up every morning being the sun 
And if their son decide not to show up for however many mornings, someone will be mourning because we will be frozen over. That's his only begotten son, S-U-N. So it's like God, source, whatever source to be, or the extraterrestrials you rode in on with that created you. Expect us to learn the, stro the stars, to be astrologers, astro loggers, to log the astros, the universal library, the Akashic records. So everything literally coincides with one another. It's like it's no... That's amazing. Let's continue. The concept of synchronicity, first introduced by Carl Jung, pertains to the occurrence of... My bad, I was calling them Jung the whole time. Carl Jung, all right, sort of silent. Two or more events seemingly linked by meaning but not by any obvious causal mechanism. Jung believed that this phenomenon could not be explained by mere chance and pointed to examples, such as the dream of a scarab beetle being followed by the sudden appearance of a real scarab beetle. It may just be me, but the scarab beetle is something dear to me. I grew up on The Mummy Return. It's one of my favorite movies all the time. My grandma put me onto it earlier on. And it just something with that, even though I know a scarab beetle is just not that. It have meanings. And but it's like what is the chances? I'm I'll show you guys right now. <laughs> Yo, I literally was just looking at this tattoo I wanna get. Hold on. Hold on, I know it's in here. I know it's in here. Oh man, let me see if I can find it real quick. I like, I'm looking around and I'm like, I just want to scratch all that. Just know I look, I was looking at what I want to get next. I want to get a scarab beetle tattoo and I just, I send myself messages so I can remember to go back to them and see the pictures and not. It's weird. I just click on this video and he's talking about a scarab beetle and I literally was looking at this not that long ago. Time, synchronicities and synchro what's so amazing about synchronicities it lets you know that you're on the right path. Like that's insane. Scarab beetle. I had to show you that I had to show you that. Because what is As the chances? evidence of this principle? His theory is an intriguing and thought-provoking concept in the realm of chance and coincidence. In the realm of chance and coincidence, we put 30 spokes together and call it a wheel, but it is on the space where there is nothing that the utility of the wheel depends. We turn clay to make a vessel, but it is on the space where there is nothing that the utility of the vessel depends. Therefore, just as we take advantage of what is, we should recognize the utility of what is not, said Jung. For him, synchronicity was a sign that there was more going on in the world than what we could see with our eyes. He believed that synchronicity was a way for the universe to communicate with us and that it held important clues about our lives and our destiny. Yeah, like Easter eggs and... Piggybacking on what he was saying earlier is, um, what did he say? What did he say? It's like I'm foggy minded right now. Uh, yeah, about he pretty much, I guess he couldn't articulate these coincidences or whatever. It's not a coincidence. It's not the matter matter of me not believing in coincidences. It's just everything has a perfect, it has a purpose. And some things have to be experienced by the individual. If you have your heart broken and you feel a type way and you can go and get a X-ray, a CAT scan, what have you, they tell you your heart perfectly fine, but to you, it's bad. It's throwing off your circadian rhythm. You can't eat. You feel weak, depleted. No chakra reserves. But yet, can no one tell you that the individual feel what they feel, and it's real. 
that's for the ones that feel like oh um that doesn't exist because i never seen it or aliens don't exist because i never seen it seeing isn't believing all the time sometimes it's best to believe in half of what you see that don't even be what it truly appears to be it's people walking around shape-shifting reptilians assuming the form of a human that's inhumane <laughs> ayahuasca lsd dmt psychedelic trips the experiences it's not the matter if you don't have words in your lexica it's not the matter of just english some things is unutterable for it exists as an entity and lanes which transcends our material words or symbols so some things have to be experienced by the individual open and willing to receive that's seeking the truth and it will seek you as well it's that opposite yet equal reaction as well yin and yang you can't have one without the other hot and cold and in the middle there's warm Let's continue. Jung's philosophy on synchronicity is one of the most complex and fascinating topics in psychology. Synchronicity is all around us. It is the art of meaningful coincidence, a language spoken by the universe. Many of us experience synchronicities by seeing repeating numbers, a facet of numerology in which different sequences of numbers have different meanings and are seen as messages from the metaphysical realm. For example, some numbers might indicate a big change coming, the end of a chapter in your life, or hard work about to pay off. Followers of the Greek philosopher Pythagoras were the earliest known believers in numerology, assigning mystical properties to numbers. If you're looking for a career where you can really make a difference in the world, to help and connect with others... They believed that all even numbers were female Odd numbers were male, and the number four represented justice. They also considered... Yes, yes, yes. Um, so four... Four was dealing with, like, a law enforcement and, like, a person that... Number one is the leader. It makes sense, too. You know how everybody want to be number one is the leader. And two, what was two? two? I have all this in my notes. I need to go over my notes again, but eight was money and power. And money wasn't always here. And real money currency is the transfer of energy. Like this, this was made with someone's energy. And we are the currency. So it isn't just like a material thing of money, uh, but it's wealth. And the highest number is nine, completion. And then you reset back to one. You add the numbers up until you have one number. Let's continue. 10 as the most perfect number and believe that there was a 10th planet, counter-Earth, always concealed from us by the sun. Have you ever seen a special number once, or has the same number been appearing in your life for years? The crucial part is how you understand it. These numbers are all about tuning into your feelings, taking a moment to think about your surroundings and thoughts, and finding your center. It's like the cosmos is a massive symphony, and once in a while, we catch a glimpse of its harmony. These moments can be as subtle as a butterfly landing on your shoulder when you're deep in thought about a life-changing decision. Or they can be vivid, like meeting someone who looks remarkably similar to a long-lost friend. Take deja vu, for example. Like, not that, well, this was probably like, um, four, three, four months ago now, I met this one it's weird it's very weird you just think the synchronicity with the scarab beetle i shit you not i'm literally getting that but i met this girl on um ome tv and it's like as soon as i seen her it was something familiar about her like she like 
her look and her vibe, like her aura. And I know for a fact, in this lifetime, I never seen her. And I'm just thinking it. We talking like five minutes in. She say it first of what I was thinking. Like, have I met you before? And we started talking about all different things. And it sounds surreal if I was to even explain it for real. Like, Trinity is one of my favorite names as well. And I grew up on The Matrix. I watched the movie so many times, countless amount of times. And that was one of her names too as well. Ironically, I'm like, it's something very familiar about this guy. What the? F but when, as soon as I see her, I think it instantly. And then we like five minutes in. Then she bring up what I was thinking instantly. I ain't come off off rip saying it because you don't know how people may take things or whatever. And she said it. And I'm like, yo. And it's weird, but I know I never met her. Or it's even songs that some of you guys requested me to react to. I'll go and react to. I listen to the song. I know for sure. In this lifetime, I never heard it before. But it's something familiar about it. And not in a, a butterfly on your shoulder. And you look over like, and no, it's like it engulfs your whole vessel. But at the same time, it's subtle. Subtle enough for you to undermine it. And look past it. The signs that whatever give you. And, or even not. There have been times I'm just whatever. Years later. And then I just randomly think of a person I haven't seen in eight years since middle school types. I go outside and I don't even go outside like that. I need to change that. I need to get some more sun. And but then when I do go outside and then I will see this person. And that ain't happened one time. That shit has happened over 33 times in my whole span. In that same exact format, being I think of somebody and then I see them. And then in a whole bunch of other ways. And I have a whole bunch of weird different abilities. Somebody can be like, oh, you you want peace of the night or whatever? And I literally can smell it or I can taste it. It just depends. It's random. Like, it's like... And I guess it may it may sound outlandish or crazy, but it holds just as much weight and doesn't as someone that's saying that they in love. You can't tell them that or whatever, but they are know uh, or they can emanate and show it or whatever. And you can pick up on it that way. But if they keep it concealed, how would you know? And they tell you the following and you still ain't following. So it's like it holds just as much weight as that, but don't because it's being experienced by the individual being me so yeah let's continue example the eerie feeling that you've experienced a moment before down to the smallest detail it's like a glitch in the matrix a peek behind the curtain of reality Real synchronicity reality. plays a role here too suggesting that time might not be as straightforward as it seems but why does synchronicity happen, and what's its purpose? Some see it as the universe guiding us, like a cosmic GPS, showing us the right path. These meaningful coincidences may act as subtle signposts, indicating we're on the right track, or nudging us to reconsider our choices. Think about unexpectedly running into a friend at a coffee shop, someone you were just thinking about moments before. It's more than chance. It's the universe whispering in your ear, reminding you of the interconnectedness of all things. Or you think somebody up and they text you up or they call you up. That's happened countless amount of times. And, and it's just in so many different avenues, so many different ways. And it's like some compass. And he right too. How earlier I was referring to, um, that's how you know you're on the right track. The right track and the wrong track. It could be a warning as well. Piggybacking on what he was saying. You can pick up a synchronicity of to go the other way. Um, synchronicity encourages us to pay attention to these moments, to look beyond the surface of our daily lives and recognize the threads connecting us to something greater. Engaging with synchronicity requires openness to the mysteries of existence. It's an invitation to dance with the unknown, 
embracing the idea that there might be a hidden order beneath the chaos of our lives. As we tune into these subtle messages, we become active participants in the cosmic conversation, co-creating our reality with the universe. Don't underestimate the power of synchronicity. When you're open to the concept, you'll start noticing it everywhere. Just be patient, stay alert, and the universe will send you some incredible clues. Exploring the relationship between synchronicity and karma, Carl Jung's philosophy offers valuable insights. In Jung's view, the apparent meaningfulness of life is a result of synchronicity, not by accident, but reflecting our personal journey. Synchronistic events strengthen an individual's journey, affirming the law of karma, the idea that all occurrences are linked and one action can have a ripple effect on all aspects of life. So, when something remarkable happens unexpectedly, it might indicate you're on the right track to discovering your true purpose. Distinguishing coincidence from causation and effect is a concept you'll delve into further when studying Carl Jung's philosophy on synchronicity. He believed that meaningful coincidences couldn't be explained by cause and effect, but had a spiritual or deeper meaning. Every generation tends to believe that those who came before were narrow-minded, and nowadays, we think this more than ever. But just like past generations, we are mistaken. How many times have we seen the truth ignored? It's sad but true that people don't seem to learn from history. How could this be? Yeah, I always say that. One thing we learned. One thing we learned from history is that no one learned from history. That's true. It's very true. To even still be creating nuclear warheads and all that and going at war and right wing, left wing and and it's crazy. This this will synchronicity, this thing mastering this like you will literally be living heaven on earth, but you can't master it if they slap in a bill every goddamn where. If you gotta be occupied at an occupation, if you distracted by a bunch of things, and you just it's like I wanna master this someday. But all the things we bombarded with, it's like, how, realistically, how are you going to get to do that? And all the other things I want to master as well. Now, your life expectancy, and that's in the most pristine conditions. It's 120 years old, and that in itself still ain't shit. I want to master Wing Chun. There's so much I want to master and do. For me to do all I want to do in this lifetime, I got to be an ascended master. Jung's theory suggested that our link to the collective unconscious might be the answer. He argued that when two events occur simultaneously, there might be a psychic connection between them. Our perception of it as meaningful could be a result of a shared understanding, a form of intersubjectivity. Using these ideas, Jung concluded that these coincidences weren't random. They were messages from the unconscious, holding special meaning for us. In simpler terms, our subconscious was trying to talk to us through this unexpected synchronicity. Jung's philosophy on interpreting meaningful coincidences in dreams proposes that seemingly random events can have a greater meaning. He believed that these events, often seen as mere coincidences, could actually be messages from the unconscious. According to him, this could offer a way to understand the inner workings of the mind, helping us make important decisions and gain insights into our lives. Jung also suggested that these coincidences could offer a way of understanding the collective unconscious, the shared experience of all human beings. Thus, Jung's philosophy provides a valuable tool for psychological exploration and self-reflection. Jung's theory of synchronicity offers a powerful tool for understanding life decisions. He proposed that meaningful coincidences 
can act as signposts, guiding us to make decisions in line with our true selves. By paying attention to these coincidences, we can gain insight into the collective unconscious and our place in the world. Jung argued that when we use these signs to make decisions aligned with our innermost desires, we gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and our true purpose. Therefore, Jung's theory of synchronicity provides a valuable tool for psychological exploration and self-reflection. According to Jung, analyzing dreams for hidden meanings and synchronicity can be a powerful tool for understanding and making life decisions. If you're seeing this video, it's your sign that you have a message inside you that is meant to reach a whole bunch of people. And I guess... Jung believed that dreams often contain meaningful patterns and symbols that provide insight into our true selves, our relationship with the collective unconscious and our place in the world. By paying close attention to the symbols and patterns in our dreams, we can gain deeper insight into our innermost thoughts and feelings and make decisions aligned with our true desires. Understanding dreams and the symbolism they contain is an important step in understanding ourselves and the world around us. Analyzing dreams for hidden meanings and synchronicity can be a powerful tool for self-reflection and personal growth. Jung's philosophy on how synchronicity can affect your life is a powerful tool for understanding and navigating life's complexities. According to Jung, synchronicity is a meaningful coincidence that provides insight into our lives, our connections with the universe, and our essential purpose. By recognizing the significance of synchronicity, we can gain a greater sense of control over our lives and open ourselves up to new possibilities. Understanding and embracing synchronicity can be a powerful tool for personal growth and transformation. Jung's philosophy on exploring the significance of synchronicity in our culture is an important part of understanding our relationship with the universe. Synchronicity, as defined by Jung, is a meaningful coincidence that provides insight into our lives and our essential purpose. By exploring the ways in which synchronicity manifests in our culture, we can gain a deeper understanding of our collective identity meaningful coincidence when you guys hear coincidence what, what do you think i think i associate that with okay by chance and through trial and error my own experiences and not taking anything from someone before me or currently and none of that no philosophy or none of that through my own seeing what's going on then self-reflection and seeing the patterns and things it's like everything that's going to happen happened already time don't exist but that's the unit of measurement that we go by that i guess that gives us relevance this time is the only what true unit of measurement to prove that we're here it's like with the if you got a car that's speeding up and it get faster and faster and faster at some point it will reach a level of speed where it just completely dis disappear you won't see it so it's like it give us our relevancy and and everything coincides with one another time traveling is a real thing ain't nobody think that up and put that in tv shows no it actually was here before you and it will be here after you for you to time travel, you are either going forward or backwards. So you can still go backwards in time, in real time. And see everything that happened from Martin Luther King getting assassinated, JFK, what happened to the ancestors, ancient Kim at further back then. All, or you can go forward. Cyberpunk. That's crazy. 
and it's one of the most interesting topics like a most mysterious and the answer to it if it is like a real answer to it it's worth more than all the money and gold anything life can offer because then you got the you got the cheat codes to everything you you know what it all mean everybody can come to you and you can be like the actual crystal ball yourself with and its connection to the wider universe. Recognizing the patterns of synchronicity that appear in our lives allows us to gain insight into our collective experiences and make decisions aligned with our true desires. Exploring the significance of synchronicity in our culture. What's you guys' true desires? My true desire, true desires that isn't on the vibration of worldly possessions would be I'm talking about when I'm looking over that fence and the fence and everything below it would be what media told us we should have but otherwise we ain't shit so that's the family the picket fence the dog or maybe even the mansion if you want or maybe even multiple wives if you want children and it's like no I peek I peek over that fence and I want with the fast explanation. I want what can nobody have. And when I mean nobody, I mean the populace. Yes, it is exceptions to the rules. People that walk among us on every day that can do things that that would be deemed godly. So I want to let's go back. My desire is, is it isn't third dimensional at all. Again, if I'm peeking over this fence, it's to be an ascended master, acquire the philosopher's stone, to master everything I want to master, and some jack of all trades, but master it. A why I can live for however long I want to live. And if I decide it's over and I don't want to do it no more, I can go to elsewhere. I want to go to my own personal tailor made heaven, to what's everything there I truly desire and want to do, and what time is still encapsulated. Unless I want the sun out for 24 hours or I want the moon out for 24 hours or what, however I feel. And it just be everything there to me from every lifetime from, again, you play a certain song and it remind me of my mom playing it when I was growing up. And, but from all my lifetimes and all my experiences and have access to it all, because what good is it if you go through what you go through just for it to be deleted and you recycle through the moon and come back with no recollection of your past life? That's kind of stupid if you ask me. So it would be that, and where it's literally tranquility and peace in heaven. My own tailor made heaven, though. Like everything I want, I'm surrounded by. And so I ain't even got to get into the extra. What's obvious, I don't like this about earth is that someone can just impose their will on you. You can be innocent, righteous, Jesus like that character they speak of. And you can get a bunch of Zionists that's on the same accord with a Negan to tell them what to do and they will skin you alive. And you will feel pain that's unutterable for it exists as an entity and lanes which transcends all material words or symbols. It will feel like you're in an infinite Sukiyome for a trillion years. That kind of pain is just going through a, a minute of it. like, And it's people that actually went through that. So I would like to go somewhere where can nobody impose their will on nobody there and... Yeah, and I guess, but if you is living forever and you just learning everything, what would be next after that? A trillion years from like now, you discovered the, or let's say a quadrillion, trillion, trillion, whatever years, quadrillion, whatever years, and then you went to every Milky Way L ever, every galaxy ever, every planet, you dissected and explored everything and mastered it, everything from the ocean to whatever like what's, what's after that then what would you want to do after that become a planet yourself like because uh, that's weird too in itself because we know it's, it's entities that have been living out there for quite a while and that's been here before whatever and they do discover and do everything what's after that or 
trying to think how would you feel if you experience and accomplish and you understand everything what now do you just go by a routine every day and still just surround yourself by the things that's or would you still have them human like emotions of being where you take things that's free for granted you know how you may have some things you wanted it really bad you obtain it and now you just toss it in the attic like would you be like that towards that or let's continue can be a powerful tool for personal and collective growth and transformation the concept of synchronicity has the potential to change the way we view the universe it's an interesting idea that can help us understand the world differently. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and took something away. Your support means the world to me. I would love to hear your... Yeah, hopefully you learned something today. It did some self-assessment, introspection, and reflecting on what... So you can... Be on the cusp of the outcome you want. Well, that was interesting. It's 7.28 a.m. And my mind is foggy. I need not get everything out I wanted to, but I guess I can't just say I know everything that's going to happen, happen how it's supposed to, when it's supposed to, and change that up for when, when it only fits my narrative. So I know everything that's going to happen happened already, and it happened for a reason. So when the future become the present and I'm in the present, hopefully I can understand why I made the choices and I made. So, yeah. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, DM me the link via X. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick and Rumble. Let me know your weird, weirdest experience in the comment section. I'll see you on the next video, man. I'm out.